What's up, everybody? Look, y'all know who I am by now, but if you don't know, I go by the name of Gabriel Ori. This is my co-host right here. What's up, guys? JR here. Yo, so listen, man, we, we have, we're excited about this episode of Axe Producer. Before we start, y'all know how we do. Go ahead and click that share button. Share this video right now. I want you to tag an artist, uh, tag your mama and them, tag the nieces, tag music lovers um, all across the globe all across the globe because we have a very special guest but before we get into that jr man how was your day bro this is another friday another friday no no uh i'm about to say no day off but today is my day off man and i'm just excited just to be home and relax spend time with the family well fortunately my son he's sick but hey he's here with me so it's nice it's, it's a good thing so you, I'm, you said I'm it right good. the first time you said it right the first time no day off we don't take no days off over here it's all about working and notice i said working and not a job but working nothing against the people who got jobs but i'm saying working you gotta work the thing that god gave you work 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 so anyway listen man i had a good day um, or i'm having a i had a great day um today everything is uh you know how it should be right you know, uh, we're in December, the month of December, man. This is the time of giving, um, and we're so elated. So come on, hit the share button. We, we're just trying to uh, ad lib a little bit. Hit that share button because we're very excited about this guest that we have backstage. Listen, she is from Nigeria by way of New Delhi, uh, India. Man, listen. I got a story before we bring you on stage. Now I know y'all wondering, like y'all got y'all got somebody from India? Yeah, she's in India. She's from Nigeria. Artist, we had the pleasure and the privilege of working with this artist. And listen, this is how we met her. Uh, it's an, uh, another lady by the name of Felicia. Shout out Felicia. Uh, in the mix in entertainment. The mix, in the yeah. mix. So uh, Felicia basically, you know, reached out to us. You know, on matter of fact, from this podcast, and we kind of build a relationship there. Felicia introduced us to this artist that she was working or you know dealing with, uh, and I'm not going to introduce her yet. But from there, you know, uh, for those who don't think that you can use technology to make things happen, listen, we made it happen. This artist never came to us. We never went to you know New Delhi to try to make this happen, but we did it all through technology. You going and, and in spirit. And the spirit of God was in the mix, you know, definitely. So we had a good time, you know, working with this artist. You know, I, I, I'm going to shut my mouth because I want to bring her on. Hopefully you hit the share button. But listen, all the way, right, all the way from New Delhi, India, the one, the only, Miss Joy Fock. Give it up for Joy Fock. Woo! What's up, Joy? Oh, you muted. You muted. Hi. Hi, What's everyone. Up? I'm good. You're great. So listen, we're so glad you came on our platform. Um, now, I know I gave you a very slight, you know, small introduction, but why don't you introduce yourself in your way to our platform? Okay. I, I'm Joy Fak, and um, I'm a Nigerian based in India, and I'm a worshiper and also a songwriter and that's me that's me okay so quick question so tell me how do you um how'd you get into like started with music you know what how'd that become begin for you okay um music has been a part of me um right from childhood my mom and my dad uh, my entire family they are singers and um I never expected to be a, an artist though, because um, that was one of the least things I, sh I should be thinking of, you know, um, but I, I know how to sing. My, my siblings, everyone knows how to sing. So it got, it got to a point where um, I went to church because I was singing, you know, um, in my childhood um, choir. I joined the children choir and uh, how, how old were you when you when you did that? How old were you? 
I think 10 years, 10, 10 years, yeah, 10 years. Okay. I've been singing right from, like, I've been singing. It, I'm, I'm a born singer. Mm. Okay. I'm a born singer. But I never knew it would be, like, um, like, a career for me today. I never knew it would be a part of me that I would be singing. Mm. Okay. But I love singing. I know how to sing. And I go to church. And I, I'm also a part of the children choir. Wow. Okay. Yes. So um, it got to a point where... Um, whenever I see my mom singing, you know, I'm always like happy. I always want to be like I, I always look up to my mom because she's a great singer. I'm telling you, she's so good musically. She's good. Mm. Okay, and um, you know, that's like I I just love her when I see her sing, and I'll be like, I really want to be like my mom. I really want to be a singer like my mom, you know. And to the glory of God. In my growing up, I do sing for children. Sometimes there are some children who want to come around me and sit around me and be like, Joy, can you please sing for me? <laughs> and, you know, I'll sing, we'll see, I'll sit in the middle of the kids and then I'll sing for them. And also I go to churches and I also sing as a, as a choir, uh, you know, and that's, that's how it all started. I have okay. a question. I have a question from that. I didn't mean to cut you off, okay. but so, so it sounds like your mom was kind of like influence on you in your early life because you wanted to be like your mom. She's a singer. Um, what was, this is just a personal question for me because I know we're in, in a different time zone, different place. Uh, and I know how most people out here in America, like, you know, when they say, Hey, you know, I grew up listening to, can you fill in that blank? What was some of, besides your mom, what kind of music did y'all, you guys listen to in the house? Oh, okay. Um, okay. My mom is, uh, like I said, she's a, she's a religious singer. She's a Christian singer. So she, she plays the gospel song most of the time. And also my dad, my dad loves R and B, you know, the old school <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, most, you know? most men like that, that nice old school R and B, you know, so those things happen like, but most of the, uh, the, the love and, you know, and the, the passion that I got from music is from my mom. Mm. Okay. Because she, she always want to be on the gospel side, listen to the gospel music. Mm -hmm. And I go with that. And most of the time I do listen to it. And also I love Il song. You know, I do listen to Il song as well. You know, song, up. yeah. Yeah. And also CC Winers. Okay. I sing most of her songs and, you know, these are the things I do for the children. And do you know what happened? Okay. When um, in one of the churches we went to, uh, they 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 asked me to sing a, a special number, uh -huh. and I sang the song "King of Kings and Lord of Lords," and that song got me my first award. Okay, oh, wow. Fourth, wow. yes. So I've I've grown up. Growing up, I love these people. Like I love listening to their songs. It inspires me a lot. At, okay. at what age, at what age did you take it serious? Like, you know what? I want to do this. This is going to be the thing that I do. And I want to pursue this in that way. How, how, what age was that? I think that's five years ago. Okay. Five years, yeah. Five years ago. Wow. I was, I was literally sleeping in my, in my room and in the middle of my sleep, I have a dream. Okay. And this dream is, it's a, it's a place of worship. Okay, and that wasn't the first time I'm having that same dream. Mm. I've got the dream yes back uh, back uh, years ago. I've got a dream years ago, but I didn't take it serious. Okay, I didn't take it personal because then I was like, I'm really not into music, so I just want to complete my uh, my education, all right, and then focus on some other job and all that. So mm. um, I was home with my husband, and I had the dream where I was singing in the crowd, okay? I was singing in the crowd, and I saw people being relieved from depression. I saw people crying and receiving healing in the midst of my revelation. And right there, like, it's a very big stage, okay? It's a very, very big stage. And right there, I saw a spirit in the midst of the people with a pure, like, a pure light, Okay, and when I saw the light, 
I walked towards the light and I was just going with it. As it was working, I was working with it. It got to a spot and the light stopped. And the light said, Joy, it is time. And I said, it is time for what? He said, Joy, it is time. And it disappeared. I didn't see the light anymore. So I woke up from the sleep and I tapped my husband from sleep. He was sleeping right beside me. And I told him, I said, honey, I just got a dream. And the dream is that I was singing in the midst of this, where I was singing, I saw a light and the light was working and I was following the light and the light stopped. I just told him everything that happened in the dream. Okay. So, um, okay. Afterwards I started praying and as I was praying, I keep hearing songs. I keep hearing songs and on and on. I, and I was worshiping with the song. Okay. Right at the spot after the dream. Okay. After the revelation. And there is this guy who knows I'm, I'm good in singing. He is here. He's my director. He, he, he's, uh, he's a Congolese. He's no longer here anymore. He, he, he knows I can sing. Okay. But we didn't go further with music. Because he was asking my husband, when is your wife going to start singing? And my husband would be like, don't worry, very soon, very soon, very soon. Not until that revelation came up. So my husband asked me to call him and we called him. Immediately we called him out. He was like, okay, let's come together and do something. So uh, I went to the studio with him and uh, we tried to do something, but it wasn't coming as I want it to be. Okay, you know when you're trying to do something and yeah, like I don't write my songs. Okay, I don't write my songs. I got my songs with every beat and every lyrics from the Holy Spirit. So right at the spot, we are trying to create a song and it's not coming. Hmm. And I told my husband, I said, please, can we go home? And then we went home. So 20, 2019, yeah, 2019. Um, early 2019, I was worshiping in the house. I was praying and at the same time I was worshiping and I heard a song. I believe in miracles. Okay. And I was just singing along with the song. I was singing, I believe in miracles. I was singing like, Lord, I believe in miracles. Lord, I believe in you. I was just, you know, meditating on the word, not knowing that that's a song the Lord as given to me. Okay. And, um, I went, uh, after, after praying, we slept off and I think the, the same night, the same night in my revelation, I saw people singing, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I was like, what is this? Like, the whole place was also filled up with, I believe, in miracles, full of tears. People were crying, and it was all flooded with, you know, tears and all that. And, I, and I woke I, up from... I, what, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I was going to ask. So, from since then, that's when your birth of your career started with um, your music for um, production? Or was it yeah, that's okay. exactly. Just, just, uh, yeah, just let me finish this. Okay. And then I got the song and then I was sleeping. Okay. Right in that way I was sleeping. I got the song. I believe in miracles. And I saw people crying with the song. I believe in miracles. And I woke my husband up and I told my husband, I said, honey, I got a song. I believe in miracles. And I don't know what the song is all about. My husband said, okay, let's hold our hands together. And we started praying. And right where we were praying, the Spirit of God came through and he told us, take the song to my people. Tell them to believe in me. I'm a God of miracles and a God of wonders. Okay. And the lyrics keep coming and it keeps coming. It keeps coming and coming. That was when I will say for myself, that was when my ministry started. Wow. That was the first song the Lord gave to me that I heard the voice of God saying, go.
go give it to my people okay hallelujah is a song fine i wrote hallelujah as well i and the um the director did that but you see i believe in miracles it is a song that was packaged okay was well arranged and was given to me by the holy spirit and i never knew pandemic was coming up i never knew there'll be a, there'll be trouble in the world at that time okay now when the lord gave me the song it's, it's just like a message for the people okay but we never knew we never knew what was in front of us during the time of this of this old uh, fellowship with god Wow. And I, I can hear, you know, the propheticness in your voice. Um, I believe that God raises up, you know, communicators. I'm going to call us uh, writers and singers and rappers. Yeah. You're just communicating. And God raises up communicators in every part of the world, all regions, um, even uh, different states and cities. He has particular uh, communicators that he wants to get a message through. And I believe, you know, that's part of your ministry. And so we're going to take a quick break. When we come back from this break, we're going to talk about the song that we did together um, called Mercy. Uh, Mercy. We want to talk about this song, you know, um, right after we come back. Y'all share this video. Share this video. We'll be right back after this break. Sunday morning is one of the most segregated times in the country. So when we understand our role as believers in the body, we should be the most powerful force on the planet. The church is the largest special interest group in the world. But because we are so fragmented and disjointed, mm -hmm. This is the moment, the one where every detail matters, where the essence of who I am takes center stage. Tonight isn't just another evening, it's a canvas waiting to be painted with shared smiles, laughter, and the unspoken connection. It's not just a fragrance, it's a whisper of who I am, an unspoken invitation a story waiting to be unfolded. With this cologne as my silent ally, I'm armed and ready to create a night that won't be forgotten by morning. Tonight, I become the author of an unforgettable story. Code 78, The Love Movement. y'all enjoy that i know i say it after every break but listen that's a special song listen how did you feel about that mercy that song when you wrote it you write right you you that's the yeah. question i wanted to ask in the beginning you are a writer um you write yeah. all your songs do you collab with your writing or how's that work how's that process? Okay. okay okay yeah like i said um at the previous um you know um question i don't write my songs okay all the songs that I have, I have over 200 songs right in Ooh. my song. I didn't write any of them. And those songs are powerful. I don't know how, how God loves me so much that he just want to give me this, this message. Give it to my people. Give it to my people. Don't worry. I'm here for you. Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm right beside you. That's what God did for me. So right um, when I was praying, 
in the midst of my prayer, I got mercy as well. Okay. And the thing is, I just record the song with my phone. Okay. And the melody and everything just keep coming, you know, like putting the song together from my phone. I never picked up a pen to write the song. No. Mm. So listen, I, let me tell the audience um, when, so after we, we got connected and, you know, uh, Joy said, Hey, I got a song. And we're like, okay, well, you know, sing it and send it over. She sang, she she sent over, I guess, a copy of it where it was kind of like music already there. And see, yes. for us, we don't like to work with like music that's there. We want to, hey, we want to come off of our own, you know, right. feel of the song. So we're like, hey, Joy, uh, can you send it without the music, just a cappella, just singing it? And she mm -hmm. sent that. And when I tell you, this song took no time. When we heard it, it was like. Oh, like a oh, wind of fresh air. Like, yeah, just a breath of fresh air. Like, oh, yo, love this. I love your style. Um, and the song just came together. We we did the music for it. We sent her the music. She went to a studio right there in India. Um, she yeah. she recorded. She got her whole team recorded it. And here's here's the crazy thing. When she sent it back to us, she's like, "Hey, you know, it's a voice, something missing." So we was able to get a singer on our side, Miss Jada. Salute to you, Jada, uh, Jaden yeah. King. And she came on the song and she sang some some background vocals on the song. And man, that just completed the song. You know, we mixed the song, we mastered the song, got it back to her. And I mean, this song is just killing it. Like we, we everybody loves the way this song turned out. Tell me something, Joy. Um, I believe I said earlier that, you know, God raises up communicators and he has a message for each region, each generation. What does this song Mercy mean to you? And what do you want people to take away from this song? The song Mercy means a lot to me. Okay, it means a lot to me. Like I said before in my in the previous question, I have a song, I Believe in Miracles. Right now, I Believe in Miracles is a song of hope and encouragement to the word for them to believe that, yes, there is God. And this song Mercy came up after I Believe in Miracles, which talks about the testimonies of God, of the goodness of God. You don't need to complain over the things that God is doing for you. You don't need to complain over the things that is happening around you. All you just have to do is to give thanks to God and tell him how much you love him. Just express your, your feelings. Just express how much, you know, how much care he has given to you. And tell the word, tell the people, tell those that are, that are far away from God that these are the things God has done for you. And they can also come and test from it. They can come a test from the living water of hope, of happiness, of peace, of love, and of encouragement. So um, mercy is a broad sound for me that the Lord has blessed me with. And I know it's going to bless the people by the time it's been released out there. Wow. And I know, um, you know, our heartfelt prayers goes out to Nigeria and everything that's going on in, in that part of the world. Um, but I feel like that song fits such so uh, to the point where, you know, it feels like God orchestrated this whole thing, you know, uh, for the song to be released when it's being released. You know, um, what do you want people to take away from the song Mercy? Right. Uh, that's that, that's a very good question. You know, um, I Believe in Miracle was a song of open encouragement. OK. When I had I Believe in Miracles, I never knew this pandemic. I never knew pandemic was coming up and God gave me I Believe in Miracles. Now, after I Believe in Miracles, God gave me mercy. Mercy is a song of testimony. Mercy is a song of, of, uh, of you giving back to God of the glory. And you do need to complain. No matter what's going on around you, no matter what you're facing in life, you do need to complain. All you just want to do is to give God glory, to give God thanks. He said... His hands are not short that he cannot save. Mm. The hand of God is as is as is as as much as you can think of, as many things you can think of that God can do for you. Okay. Now, now let me say something about the song Mercy. I will speak of your goodness, the mercies that surround me. He has granted you mercy over the troubles that you've been through all these years. Pandemic came up, people died. You never died. 
people are hungry, you're not hungry, people are looking for food to eat, but you are able to sustain by the mercy of God. Mm. So the song Mercy is a powerful song for everyone to listen. It's a powerful song of testimonies and give it God all the praise and all the glory every single day of your life. Right. Okay. And we're, we're going to speak that song to be number one all over the globe. Um, you know, mercy, you know, um, tell the people how you can be reached. How can they contact you? How can they follow you on your social all medias, social, everything? Yes, all social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook and I'm on TikTok. I'm on um LinkedIn, I'm on all social media. Just go on Instagram, you search on joyfac underscore org, and you'll find me there. You go on Facebook, you search for joyfac, you'll find me there. You go on Insta uh, on YouTube, you search for joy Arafat. Yes, please, you guys go listen to Mercy. It's a powerful song, and trust me, you're not going to regret it because it's going to bless you. Mercy is going to bless the whole of your day every single time you listen to mercy you want to go ahead and listen to it over and over again and, and, so you can reach out everywhere so joy so um tell us is there anything else you want this this platform to know about you um anything you want any last words you want to leave with our audience okay um mercy is out now on all social media platform so you can go ahead and stream mercy to get blessed it is a season to rejoice. So I need you all to be happy. Come on, let's celebrate this good season together with Mercy. Ooh, so listen, uh, Mercy's out right now, y'all. Uh, go again, download, share, stream, watch the video, everything. I mean, I feel like God puts everything together and it fits like a glove. You know, what God, what doors God open, no man can shut. What doors God close, no man can open. So, Joy, listen, we're, we we appreciate you coming on our platform all the way from New Delhi, India. Um, you're the first um, global, I would say, you know, artist uh, to bless our platform. So, hey, you always going to be near and dear to us in our hearts, in our minds. You know, we keep you in prayer. We keep everybody in prayer. Um, JR, you got any last words, any last thoughts? Yes, uh, yes, no. yes, yes, yes. Uh, I've got a, a question to ask you guys. I want to ask you guys a question. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, um, you are the producer of Mercy, and I need you all to, I need you to please tell me, and I need you to express what you felt in the middle or in the midst of you uh, producing the song. How did you feel when producing the song? Okay, so um, when we created this song, or the music of it, we was already elated with what you sent as the song like the context of the song and just i think it gave us a, a chance to open up a different side of our production style because we work with a lot of like rappers we work with a lot of like praise and worship uh oh, type oh, of songs um yeah. but but this gave us a, a chance to kind of go more hill song go more elevation you yeah. know <laughs> it, it yeah. gave us a chance to um uh, to open up on that side, you know, acoustic guitar. So like, I know that that, that kind of gave us room to do that because so far, like the, the, a lot of the artists that we've worked with up to this point, um, not to say that they can't do that. It's just that we don't have that sound yet. You were the first to open us up to that sound. So we was like, oh, this is, this is going to be huge. It's going to be yeah. big. Not only is we, we Amen. know it's going to go number one, it shows a different side of what we could do. And it reveals the fact, again, like I said in the beginning with technology. Somebody could, praise God. Woo! And, and then not, and not only that, the, the song, the song, is, it, it gravitates to all nations, not just one yeah. group of people. And so when, when we heard it, we, you know, we we had different background singers we wanted to use, but then we thought of Jada because her voice matched yeah. your tone. And so not only that, Jada is also Caucasian. And right. so to bring that mix together, it just ties it all together, man. It's it's it's, it's for the world, it's for the nation. So. We have a lot to do together. We have a lot of <laughs> yeah. we have a lot of songs to do together. And this songs are more of the the you know, the ill song and you know, um or um, orchestra and also a lot of nice and uh, worship praise songs that God has given to me. I'm telling you. Right. 
and we we all for it. We 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 we're ready for it. I'm um, coming over. <laughs> we like that sound, you know, and it, it helps us explore and expand our sound even more. Hey. We know it's gonna go out to the world, um, to the globe, to the nations. Thanks. It's a powerful Thanks. song. Amen. And it's needed everywhere. And like Jr. said, like he alluded to, it crosses the barriers of cultures. Like Amen. this song just crosses. You know, it's, it's a cross. What we call a crossover song. It's a crossover song. It is, it is, it is. And the people are going to get blessed. They listening to the song in the 2014. It's going to bless their souls. It's going to bless their souls. Amen, amen, amen. So, we so listen, thank you for the question. We, we never got a question from one of the, the, but thank you for the question, you know, and, and y'all share this video again. Um, we had fun with Miss Joy Fock, um, yep. you know, and I know Joy, that's like your artist name. I found out that that's not really your name <laughs> name. I can't pronounce your name, so we're gonna stick with Joy. <laughs> we're gonna stick with Joy. I, I like that. That's easy. Joy. J O Y. Yeah, I like how that feels. Joy. But um, listen, it's been fun, Joy, having you on there. This definitely won't be our last time with you being on the podcast or us working um in the future. Um, so listen, this has been Ask the Producer. I'm your host, Gabriel Ori, and this is JR. Thank you. JR, thank y'all, and we out.